Hello, my name is Julie and I'm with Interspace Industries. Today I'd like to show you around the Spot-on system. Spot-on is really a laser pointer. Laser pointers work great on front projection screens, but as we know with rear projection, you're going to lose 90% of your beam through the screen. Laser pointers work really well on single screens in intimate settings, but in larger venues with a bigger screen, you may find yourself in a difficult position of having to point above your head or even turning your back on the audience. Now imagine that larger venue, but with multiple screens. Those fortunate enough to sit at the front and looking at the main screen will see your pointer. The remainder of your audience, looking at alternative screens, won't see your laser pointer and won't know what you're talking about. So why not use a mouse? Well, the reason why we don't is it would give you control over the main presentation computer. And if that went wrong, you don't have a backup. Usually in larger venues, there is a main and a backup computer. So if your main computer fails, you can quickly switch to the backup, hopefully before your audience notices. However, the presentation is now being run by the backup computer. So you've lost control of your mouse and therefore lost control of your presentation. The control of Spot-on is a basic mouse, whether that's a standard two-button mouse or this ball mouse, which takes up less podium space. Using your own monitor, whether it's a lectern or a downstage monitor, the presenter can face the audience, see the pointer, see where it is on the screen, and therefore control it. Spot-on is a standalone graphics processor. It accepts DVI, including VGA, and HDMI signals and will overlay a pointer onto the video signal. You can then distribute this signal to as many screens as your infrastructure will allow, including web broadcasts. So, what do you get with Spot-on? As you can see, you get the graphics processor, PS2 keyboard, USB over Cat5 extender, 50 meters of Cat5 cable, a standard two-button mouse, and a pair of DVI to VGA adapters. Here's the back of the processor and clearly marked is the DVI output and input, the HDMI output and input, two USB connectors and the PS2 keyboard connector. It's important to remember before you power up to put all your cables in. That's to ensure the system boots up in the recognized format. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to find out more about the products from Interspace Industries, there are more videos available online.